I just changed the lighting in Starling's room and uh, added a second steal away the fuser. Um, green light has proven to be less stressful than regular light. Um, so I made the light green and uh, turned it way down just so that I can barely see enough to monitor her. I'm hoping I will be able to still, like, it's a little dark, but um, I'm hoping to see if she seems more relaxed. If it makes any difference, I don't know if it will, but worth a try. Uh, and so she's now got a second fuel away diffuser in there. I'm going to limit my interaction with her, I think, for um, the next, well, until I can see what her, I just want to get a better idea of what her resting heart rate is and if, if it's getting better as she gets more comfortable being here. We do have the uh, Canada West Emergency Clinic on standby in case anything does happen. They have all of, all of Starling's information and uh, the cardiologist isn't in until Monday, but um, I'm just trying to be as prepared as possible in case um, something does happen. I don't know honestly what the likelihood of that is, but because it is a possibility, um, just need to be as prepared as possible. Right? So will we be, um, the Canada West Emergency Clinic is a bit farther away than the, the one we normally go to, but they do have a cardiologist on staff, so um, that's why we would be going, oh no, <laughs> you got him Keiko, good job. You got him. Oh no, he can't get... <laughs> he keeps trying the same thing over and over again and it's not working. Um, it's a little, it's going to be a little bit hard, I think, to count her respiration with the lighting the way it is, but we'll see. Thank you. 
okay 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 mama tak cukup ni a bit dark for me to see anything but at least I'll be able to see if she appears to be in distress or anything like that which is the most important thing is if it appears that she is uh, starting to go into distress I want to get her to the clinic as quickly as possible the complicated issue is that um, of course she's pregnant so um, and because she's feral, they we've already talked about it. They don't want to. They would want to treat her on an outpatient basis um, to try to keep her stress as low as possible. And we're pretty limited on what what they can treat her with. So um, I'm hoping that she'll remain uh, nice and stable until we can get more information from the cardiologist. I'm expecting we'll have an appointment early next week, but I don't know if we'll know until Monday. She looks pretty relaxed at the moment, but let me see if I go full screen, if I can see her breathing. Oh yeah, there I can see a little bit. But I'm not surprised it's fast because I was just in there. She looks so relaxed, but I'm breathing fast and shallow right now. That's definitely a stress reaction. So oh, we'll just see. So that's why I'm that's why I'm taking it easy on her because she does have she does um, have physiological reactions to stress and she does feel stress when I visit so which is unavoidable <laughs> you feel cute why are you so cute but I'm going to try to minimize it for the next couple days let's see if we can get any improvement maybe she took a deeper breath so I would, I'm going to see how long it takes her respiration to go back to like the lower, she's been in the kind of upper 40s at rest, which is not horrible. I'm going to see how long it takes her after the human predator invaded her nest. You're so cute. Look at those little hooligans back there. Oh my gosh. They're such hooligans. You can use that as a pillow now. Now you can reach them. <laughs> you can clean them while they scamp. Alright. Let me go ponder.
I know you're so cute